Greetings everyone and welcome back to Victoria 2. It is now 1860 and as you can see we want to go to war with Bahrain. We got 0.6 more infamy. At 13.72 that's not too bad especially between all the months uh, in which we lower our infamy anyways. So let's just immediately go to war. They are allied with Najed which is very bad for us because I do want to just annex them but whatever I guess. You know whatever. Don't go to war. Hopefully they don't come in. I'm not even raising up our army conscription level and no they haven't. Not yet at least. Hopefully no one gets involved here. Oh, that's probably not going to be good for us. Ah, uh, yeah, it's actually not, not too bad. They got a few guys there. Very good. I'm glad these guys are not going to war because I'll probably go to war with ne ne next. A couple comments include, uh, someone wants me to take over all of this, the Arabian Peninsula. Yes, that is my goal. By the end of this campaign, we'll have all of these places under us, including this British uh, territory too. But that's going to be late game stuff. Definitely for sure. Uh, next up, someone wants me to take out all the Balkans. We'll see about that. Hopefully, I mean, y you never know with infamy and such like that. Has anything really happened? I mean, we still have the North German uh, Federation here. Um, I guess these guys have rebels. Russians, we have really, really good relations with the Russians. The Russians love the Turkish people, or the Ottoman Empire, I should really say. They're currently fighting China again to acquire Guan Wai, so whatever. Uh, we're actually doing okay with the French. Actually, a lot of people really like us. This is a weird sort of campaign where everyone kind of is like, hey, the Ottoman Empire? We're kind of cool with them. Let's see. Also, National Spirits, we're just kind of hanging out. We're trying to improve bureaucrats up here, all across the Balkans in this area, as well as trying to approve some of the bureaucrats down here in our colonial state known as Jordan. Now, I would like to core Jordan as fast as possible, just so that oh, the mighty restoration in Cho Choshu, but I kind of don't mind if we get these guys under us. I, I don't want that many uh, colonies before the scramble for Africa, which is going to take a couple of years beforehand, but you know, whatever. Uh, we're still doing nationalism and imperialism. Only 16% of our population can actually read. It is what it is. Uh, let's see... John is actually not giving up without a really strong fight. They're doing actually pretty darn well. But also, we we had the option. There was a decision to take that we could have taken. To go to war with Montenegro. Because, oh, uh, just do it eventually. Transjordan, that's fine. I always chose that one to help lower the population. Usually, especially if it's in a place where we don't have a majority of like our primary culture. So, uh, we could have taken out Montenegro. But I decided not to because they're allied with the Russians. And Russia right now... Even though they're mobilized, they're like one, the first or second greatest power in the world, so... I figured... Probably not a really good idea to go do that with them. But let's go and do Annex Peace. And I will see you when we probably go to war with Nijed or another state. Alright everyone, and here we are. So, right now, you see at the top of the screen here, we've got a little thing called Germany, or actually the North German Federation. They want to join the war. Us to join their war against the liberation of Alsace-Lorraine against... Some pesky French and a pesky some, you know, some pesky North Italian guys. At the same time, I like to go to war in this jet, but as you can see, we got a couple rebels down here. So, yeah, we'll join the war. Not Ally Shiwa. We'll join. I hope it goes okay. It is August 28th, 1861. I'm feeling like there's going to be a little bit of a, <clears throat> a little war that might spawn down. What the heck happened in Washington? Oh, uh, they've not done the gas and purchase it either, huh? Let's see the culture map mode, actually. So, it looks like, yeah, it's pretty historical. There's a lot of Dixie in the south, of course. Dixie culture. Not a lot of things going on in Florida, though. But, uh, yeah. Interesting. Southern part of Missouri, definitely southern. Uh, Kentucky's mostly southern. Uh, even West Virginia's pretty darn southern as well. Or Dixie, I should really say. Hmm. I still gotta play as a Confederate state someday. And, of course, Texas is... Fairly Texan. Not a lot of Texan, actually. Population here is so god-awful. If I ever play as Texas, I've got to use console commands to make sure that we actually have, like, <laughs> a population. So, anyways. Well, let's go see what happens against the, the French. Hopefully they, they... I'm just... It's just symbolic joining of... Oh, crap, they're coming in. Uh, that's not good. Well, so be it. Spend a lot of money. Spend a lot of money. Raise those tariffs. As long as we're making a good amount of money, that's all I really care about, I'll be honest. Um... And take out these Iraqi nationalists. Pfft, Iraqi nationalists, come on, guys. You're not going to have freedom here. All right, let's go to war with these guys, too. Sash protector, thank you. I just want a strong Germany that's allied to us. That's all I want. That's all I want. Uh, Niger, Sardinia, Piedmont. They're all the way over there, so we can't really reach them. God, I hope the Germans win. They should be able to win, though. Oh, no, I say that, and then they enter a battle with 30,000 French soldiers. But they do, actually, North German Federation does have Bavaria, Württemberg, 
and I guess Sigmaringen as an ally, even though I don't really trust those guys too much. And they have Baden as well, so it's not too bad. 17.7% of our population can read. I can't get these guys over here, which really, really, really sucks, but hey, whatever. God dang it, these stupid rebels. So I hate the rebels so much. Uh, oh well. I'm just going to be using like Tunis as, or these guys as a punching bag. I mean, this, there's nothing down here in Ottoman Tripolitania, so I'm not really too concerned about it. Uh, Russians did not join the war. They actually declined and actually allied the UK as, as well, so. This is not looking too bad. They might take over our lands. I don't really care. That land is literally worthless. It has just a bunch of desert there. So, and what is this? Ottoman Western Desert, huh? Looks like a lot of Beoden culture, and they're not really accepted, so we'll intervene eventually. And where are you guys at? Alright, so you guys come on down here. Come to Riyadh. I have no idea how to pronounce that. I'm, I know I say that wrong every time. Tensions dissipate that. That's good. That's very, very good. Mm, Serbs. Hmm. Actually, who's coming down here? You, the 2550. I'm going to send you guys up here, too. Serbia. I've actually built factories in there, so you don't deserve to rebel. I'm giving you jobs. And if you want to leave, we have open borders. Ah, there we go. We finally got it. Oh, we can do Valley of the Kings, too. Also, we tried to find a source of the Nile earlier off screen. Uh, I just paid money for it. So, since we control Luxor, we can send an expedition to the Valley of the Kings to conduct archaeological excavations. Discoveries of Egyptian tombs could increase our prestige. Yes, please. Sign the Geneva Convention. Uh, that hurts our infamy. I don't know. It's Geneva Convention. Our country's not yet signed the Geneva Convention del delimiting and defining justified conduct of war and the treatment of war wounded. We can still sign it, of course. Mm. Organized Libya. That, well, that would not be bad, actually. We need mass politics for this. That'd actually be really, really good. Yeah, we do want to end their self-rule. But that's why we just literally finished up uh, nationalism and imperialism. I gotta get imperial empiricism next, though. I have to. Uh, manifest destiny. How does this spawn? We need to have well, can't have order. But having a liberal government or liberty would be nice. But we're gonna go and get empiricism just so we can research more stuff. I mean, we're so far behind in stuff. It's not even funny. Uh, let's take a look at national spirits right now. Let's see. You guys get more guys, more guys, more guys. And we're just doing okay here, not great. Let's do this area next, maybe. And we're doing okay overall. I mean, it's not too bad. We've got 12 infamy. Uh, Kiva, I don't really care. I just want to take whatever we can grab. And yeah. Seriously, guys? Seriously? Oh my gosh, seriously. Okay, so this is, there, we have a lot of rebellion to deal with now. Uh, well... I'm glad we mobilized more soldiers, because we got to put down a lot of people. I'm glad we actually are spending a lot of money on our military right now, because there's about to be literally tens of thousands of people who are going to die for this. Social reform is there, 5%, not bad, not bad. If you want to rebel, go right ahead and watch what happens. Just watch what happens. Like, I don't mind reforms. I mean, maybe I'll give them even voting rights, but this is not the way to do it. I mean, you guys can try... Yeah, guys, how, how, hold on, I'm not understanding this. Supply is 22.5. Maybe we can't see, like, supply, maybe, maybe we can't see attrition that the enemy takes. But I'm thinking, the supply for us is 22.5. It's got to be god-awful for them down there. It's got to be really bad. But that's just me, maybe. Head on in. Uh, you know what, I'm, I might just need you here as well to help take these guys out. And we have our other army up there, so it's good to station soldiers all around the place. Just in case. Good. Oh, so many dead Egyptians. They deserve it, too. They want to rebel? No, no, no. We don't believe in that crap. Oh, the Germans are just... Oh, my gosh. I love the Germans, as long as they're still allied with us. Japan? Hello! Oh, we've talked to the Japanese. We kind of like the Japanese, not gonna lie. Kind of like them. But in the meantime, these guys gotta go. I really want better roads, too. I really, really think we should get better roads. Alright, Egyptians. Look, I would have been open to reforms. I was open. Oh, the Annex Strength. Oh, boy. They have direct access to us now. Nice. Humiliated France. 
Nice job. Oh, are they still fighting? Oh, they're fighting Austria. Ooh, Austria. Very good job, guys. Very good job. In the meantime, I'm going to keep one army over there. I'm going to keep you guys. No, I'm going to keep you in Alexandria. No, keep them in Cairo. Screw those guys. And we're just having a good time over here. Thank you, Germany. Oh, and it is the German Empire now. And we're the only ones allied to them. <sighs> Palestine. Really, man? Really? Why do you think is why do the Palestinians think it'd be better for them to rebel now after we literally killed tens of thousands, if not a hundred thousand Egyptians right now because they rebelled? In what universe does that make sense? <laughs> oh, the Egyptians, hundreds, a hundred thousand Egyptians just died. Maybe it's our turn to rebel. That doesn't make any sense, guys. <laughs> like, if you're gonna rebel, do it at an optimal time, not when the enemies or the the rebellions or the rebels' armies have been crushed already. What? <laughs> and we don't even have high enough, like, militants or consciousness for us to even get more reforms. I'm okay with reforms! Let's, let's, let's get some reforms in! Doing pretty well. French War of Piedmont and Freedom. Yeah, I don't know about that, France. I mean, you're still not bad. They're still doing quite well, but still. And they don't hate us. Uh -huh. Oh, there they go. America's in a civil war. Belgium's still a great power somehow. And America, led by Democrats. Oh, they're led by Democrats? Um, 62. Hmm. All right, whatever. I really want to see him win, because I've never seen the CSA win, but I have a good feeling. <coughs> Things aren't going to look very good for him. Probably not. Awesome. Actually, we can go ahead and lower spending as well. Because, well, we're already at war and no one else is going to fight right now. Even though our capacity for warfare has actually gone quite a bit lower. Oh, there we go. Less tariffs. Let people buy more products. Not bad. 63%. Lowered spending, increased construction spending. We have a good little stockpile of resources now, which I like. I'm gonna keep you in probably. No, I gotta keep you in cars. It, it's too dangerous to leave them here. I need soldiers here on the Russian border. It's a necessary evil. All right, let's make another army too, if we can. All right, let's see. One, two, three, four, five. I'll actually, take one of those guys off and throw in a hussar, and then two, three. A very multicultural army, we'll say. A blend against Ottoman... Guys, guys, you just tried this. Oh, oh, oh. We have to rebuild roads here. Come on, man. Why did you stop road construction? Bosnia. We literally did this once. And we will do this as many times as necessary. Put you guys down. Actually, go down here first. Uh, no, attack them first. Let's see what happens. Ali... They have some cavalry and thousands of soldiers, but they have no artillery, so... Artillery is devastating. Bosnia. How many more Bosnians do it? To Actually, you know what? Keep doing that, Bosnia. Because that makes Turkish, the primary culture, even stronger. Expansionism. Less war exhaustion. Less plurality, though. Interesting, not looking too bad, but we have sunk to seventh in the world in terms of... Great power status, which is not very good for us, obviously. Bigger army. We need more industry too. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I'd like to make a clothes factory. Can we make clothes factories yet? Doesn't look like it. Nope. That'd be good. Put them down. Red scare. I've seen red banners on the streets of Istanbul, and I believe that the only way to combat the rising tide of socialism is through a policy of accommodation. A group of reform-minded liberals in that process decided to cast their lots with a socialist agenda with regards to the issue of trade, un trade union reform. The group claiming that our present policies allow public opinion too little sway, and arguing that labor reform is needed to protect workers' interests, is organizing to form a parliamentar par parliamentary bloc. Should we pull some strings in Parliament to counteract this move? It won't be necessary. Uh, yes, it need to be contained. I'm gonna let them go and do that. Can I get some reforms? 
Hey, we discovered an Egyptian tomb. Our archaeological excavation team working in the Valley of the Kings discovered a tomb from the 18th dynasty. The tomb is rectangular and divided into upper and lower pillar sections with a royal sarcophagus located in the lower section. This fantastic discovery has made our e Egyptological department the talk of the historically aware era. Fantastic. We got some more research I love and even more prestige. Now we're back. Still seventh, though. Hmm. And now number six. Look at that. Tensions dissipate. Excellent. Please. Please try to rebel. Please try it. Try it. Make our day. And 1555 is not bad. And there we go. That's a piece of help. Thank you for playing. Hey, look at this. Oh, look at this. Tunis. Nice. Oh, we can officially recognize the CSA. Oh, God, I want to, but we are not playing a major power that where we can really pull it, punch, punch up the United States and fight them off. That'd be really cool, but whatever. Um, here we go. Although the defeating the days, Tunisia continued to be a vassal of the Ottoman Empire, and the Friday prayer was pronounced in the name of the Ottoman Sultan. Money was coined in his honor, and, and an annual ambassador brought gifts to Constantinople, but the Ottomans never again exacted obedience. It sounded exact obedience abolished Tunisian self-rule, though they may refuse their ultimatum, resulting in a descent to war as they try to break away free from her dominance. We get two infamy, which is, you know, whatever. This is why I was developing or lowering my infamy. Whoopsie. I just signed the Geneva Convention. Whoopsie. Yep, it happens. Oh, actually, can we... Are we getting five infamy if we do that? Oh, that's not bad. I'm glad we can actually get rid of that. Let's do this. Alright. They said no. And I was not really... I wasn't really expecting that, but okay. They made their choice. And we shall make Oz. Oh, they're going with Mara. Which is fine. Let them be busy with that stuff. I don't really care. I'll probably get rid of these guys too, because it's just not looking good right there. And soldiers are being made... Oh, we're spending a lot of money on that. Good. Good, good, good. At least we'll have Tunis directly under us, which is nice. Next up, I'm probably going to... We can't do Persia, because they're influenced by the UK a whole lot. They're going with Mara. I'm probably going to go with the Chushu... Oh, the Chushu sits are in the UK. So dang it. Probably, maybe Qatar? We have a truce with them. So, we might choose someone else. I don't know. Obviously not Russia. Maybe Greece? But I don't want to have to deal with the Greeks there. Maybe Serbs? They kind of like us, though. We're starting around a place. Maybe we'll go to just or with Ethiopia, more of Africa. Because I'm not really spending that much time in Asia anymore, just because there's no other avenues of success down there, so... And I want to keep an eye... It is 62 right now, but I want to keep an eye on... I can't even remember what I just said. Russia. I have to keep an eye on Russia. We have to. Because there's a Crimean War that happened in the 50s, 1850s, but... Actually, this is really early that the German Empire spawned in 61 or 62. But, uh, this Russo-Turkish War. So, we gotta keep an eye on those guys. Uh, Hope, dude? Sorry, man, everybody's having allegiance with the two Sicilian nation down there. Go straight for Tunis. Probably need another army. I'll, I'll call you guys up, too. You're not looking great, but, hey. None of our armies are looking great, are they? Ionian Islands. Uh, sure, UK. You want access? That's fine. Maybe, maybe we'll have some rebels and they can help put them down. You never know. Not bad. I would have loved to have Montenegro under us, but whatever. Keep working on this stuff, and we can make these guys states. It'd be awesome, awesome, awesome. Oh, they avoided us, huh? They won't avoid us forever, though. Oh, hey, look at this! Italy! We just saw Italy from... How did they do that? Maybe they... I'm not really sure how, but we're still allied. They're a bunch of reactionaries. Eighth power in the world. Ooh. Who's... The Belgium probably fell out of influence. So, well, Italy here. Yeah, Belgium will fall out. Austria, Hungary... We'll be holding on barely... Oh, crap. By a thread. Oh, yeah. That's fine. That's fine. I'm already at war, so I don't really care. Nice. We discovered another Egyptian tomb. Nice. If you want to read about this one, it's the exact same thing. More research points and more prestige. Ah, oh, yes. Uh, we're only still fifth, fifth in the world for prestige, but hey. We get this within, what, like 15 minutes? Two Egyptian tombs discovered? Heck yeah. You guys take forever. I, need, I gotta build more roads. Or at least discover how to do more roads. Oh, we're fighting against... Oh, yeah, they want a piece out. Almost 20% of our population can read, too. Uh, sure. Good job, Italy. And now Rome's a capital. I gotta play Italy someday, too. 
Not bad. And we got a lot of money, but just want to kind of save it. Because eventually we're going to be in a war that it's going to be very, very costly. And can we take these guys out? Maybe, maybe not. Oh, they got nowhere to run now. That was a dumb move by them. And that's okay. Got this. Great. There they go with the Russians. How is this army looking? Not too bad. We need one more division to be made. And they're coming from Beirut. Albania, please. Get some more bureaucrats. Oh, they got rebels, huh? Well, sucks to be them. Plenty of money. I should probably build up more factories. I think we will. Head on in. Very nice. Pretty good. Take him out. God, our army's looking so lacking, man. So lacking. Whew. At least our population's doing okay. 42 million people live here. A lot of people are leaving. 420. Yep. Gonna do that. Um, it's looking nicer. It's definitely looking... Oh, crap. What are you doing? Oh, against Austria. Oh. What's going on here? I can't do Lombardia. I can't do that. I can barely afford a war myself. So, I'm sorry, Italy. I really like you. I just don't think it's worth it for us right now. That's pretty good, man. Oh, we got Manifest Destiny. Great. Great, 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 great. Now we have to be at peace for this, the event to fire, so. Uh, yeah, I... Mm. Oh, crap, the Russian Empire. Uh... Alright then, Russia. You want to mess with us? I'm calling in the big the big boys. Nice. So, for four miserable months, they had endured a searing drought that still gripped almost all of the Ottoman Empire and showed no sign of abating. Cattle ranchers and wheat farmers that could do nothing but help watchlessly as their fields and pastures scorched and crackled while the months crawled by with no rain. It was easy to see where wildfires had ripped across the high plains weeks earlier because these fields were still black and now there's nothing left to feed the cattle. It's been a long time since most of our homeland saw any rain. The Ottoman people suffer under drought that's last several months and now the effects of being felt in agriculture will be, and they will be felt for a long time. Alright, if we're at war, we gotta raise this up super high then. Super high. It's gonna cost too much, we gotta do that too. I, I do not want to invade. I'm gonna let the, I'm gonna let the Germans do whatever. Let the Germans deal with it. Yes! And actually, arr, I gotta do more stuff here, but I think it's... I, I gotta go with army professionalism for now. We gotta do this. If we're gonna be at war with the, the Russians... Mm. Come on up here, and then you guys come on up here too. See what happens? Uh, I don't want to invade. How are the... Come on, Germans, go, go, go. Oh, they're going in. Gondar? No, thank you. I'll keep you guys down here. I'll probably just delete this army. Or maybe combine the cavalry. Civil violence? No, 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 no. Keep you guys down there. Looking okay. Hello. Is this hills or it is montane grass? Three defense is really good. Uh, no. I just want you to stay where you're at. Come to cars. Let them do whatever they want to do for now. We don't have enough armies up there, and once this war's down, down there, that'd be good. I actually... Let's guess up here. What the heck? Throw them in. We're losing so many guys. What the heck? How are we losing that many guys? Oh, because our army's not very good. That's why. Oh, God. It's not good. How are we losing? On defense. We're defending, right? God, our soldiers suck so much. Hmm. Not. I thought I paused the game. What the heck? How did they take that province? As room? They decided to inter. They literally wanted to intervene. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. 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 That was a bad idea by Russia. That was a really bad idea by them. I love the Germans. Get in here. Now, we're defending in hills, and we're going to make up for this other battle that we lost. Kill every single one of them. Battle of Batum. Good. See? Exactly what I wanted. 
good. Let you guys heal up. Get both of you. Get one guy in there, maybe. We tried this earlier and we still lost. It really sucked. Alright, they're actually moving up, huh? And these guys are killing each other too, but whatever. Oh, the Germans are going to be doing well. They mobilized, wow. Well, time to take out the enemy. Um, Zanzib Zanzibar. No, I think we're good, Zanzibar. I think we're pretty good. Good, good, good. Ah, uh, Tunis, yes. Thank you, Tunis. Should have listened to reason before him. Nice. And what do we have? Oh! Commissioner Warship, what do we have? Centralize the Yemeni administration. Order better manager of colonies in Yemen. We should centralize the administration in North Yemen and South Yemen into a single colony. Nice. We get prestige. Um. Well, that's okay. Nice. And then end Wallachian and other people's self-rule, huh? Well, we get 10 infamy, which is pretty gosh darn terrible. But we have the Germans already at war, and they say no. That's not going to be very good for us. But that's not going to be the end of the world for us. Austria, Hungary, France. The Channel of the British is not going well. Dutch war. Wait, Dutch war. Oh, we, we're, we're at peace now. Oh, okay. Did they white pieces out? Acquire Lithuania? Okay, well, whatever. That must hurt their infamy too, but whatever. They're actually worth Belgium and... Sp sp wait. Dutch War, Flemish... Oh, the Dutch and the Germans. Flanders wants Flanders. Oh, that, yeah. With the piecing out with those guys? Well, let's see. Over here, both of these great places would be great to have. Obviously, Cole and Wallachia would be super, super, super. Galati. I think I want to go with Wallachia first, because we can still maybe wait and go to war with Austria-Hungary with the Germans and take Bukovina, so Wallachia is probably the better bet. They said no. We go in. And Russia came back in. And Germany. Uh, Well, crap. That's not good. So, actually, you know what? I'll be right back then. All right, everyone. So... I decided not to do the thing yet with these guys, and we will just now. Now, I won't talk about the war with Russia. I replayed, like, the end of the war, and actually it's now 1866, and somehow, the Confederate States have actually existed. They didn't lose the war somehow, and, well, they still exist. I don't understand how they did it, but we are now third in prestige in the world because we got, what, a place in the Sun event while we were in the war, which gave us 23 more prestige, which really actually helped us quite a bit. Here's the uh, Great Powers list. Russia's got a lot of people under them. Germany, when we pieced out, they were actually able to humiliate humiliate Russia, so they had the prestige knocked down. Germany's looking pretty good industry-wise. That could potentially eventually rival the UK's, of course. They're pretty much the second greatest uh, power in terms of military. We're not doing too bad ourselves. Actually, America's not doing well since they did lose the Civil War. I, I don't know how, but the Confederate States still exists. So, it is what it is. Um, yeah, cool. And also, in the peace deal, we also got Moldavia, or Bessarabia for Moldavia, so... Not bad. Let's see if we can go ahead and end one of their self rule maybe? Maybe, maybe not. I kind of don't mind getting Moldavia, since it, that is two more provinces, and that's a lot of population, but Wallachia, I'm still I'm still tugging towards Wallachia, so we'll see what happens. Uh, hopefully that goes okay. Hopefully it does. Okay, there's no war this time. So, I think that's a great place to end this episode. I thought we did really, really well. Um... Yeah, we're looking really good. So, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow when we'll have a bunch of infamy to help get rid of and hopefully do okay. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.